In my previous video, we have learned about Pythagoras theorem part 1. Have you watched it yet? If not, I suggest that you watch that video first and memorize the formula before you continue watching this video. In this video, I will teach you how to solve hot questions involving Pythagoras theorem and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question number one, Adam will place a ball on top of a pillar in the diagram below. The table below shows the diameter of three balls A, B and C. Which ball, A, B or C, can fit perfectly on top of the pillar? Show the calculation to support Adam's choice. So, how is this question related to Pythagoras' theorem? So, first of all, I'm going to draw a sketching. Let's look at this pillar. So, this pillar, okay, for this curve, is actually part of the circle. So, I'm going to draw it around over here. So, here, this is the curve, okay. Then, from here to here, it's 16 cm. So I can actually, so this is a, actually a part of a circle, okay? So from here to here, we know that it's 16 cm. So I'm going to divide it into two parts, okay? Whereby here is 8 cm and here is 8 cm, okay? And I'm going to label this as R, which is the radius of a circle, okay? Let's say this O, the center of the circle. So from here to here, it's given that it's 4 cm. So I'm going to label here as 4 cm. Okay, because from here to here is also the radius. So therefore, for this triangle, 90 degrees, from here to here, I'm going to label this as R minus 4. Okay, so I have a triangle, which looks like this. It's a right angle triangle, so this is R, and this is 8 cm, and this is R minus 4. Okay, all in cm. So from this triangle, okay, we can substitute into the Pythagoras theorem formula, whereby it states that C squared equals to A squared, plus b square okay let's say i take this as my hypotenuse which is c okay here will be a and here will be b okay so i'm going to substitute into the formula okay which is going to be r square equals to so a is 8 square 8 square plus so b is r minus 4 so r minus 4 whole thing square okay next i'm going to expand everything so r square equals to 64 plus r square minus 8r plus 16 because 4 square is 16 and then I group them up so r square I shift over become r square minus r square okay equals to so here will be negative 8r so 84 is 64 plus 16 is 80 so plus 80 okay so here will be 0 so when I shift this over to the left hand side, negative 8r, shift over it becomes positive 8r equals to 80. So therefore, r is equals to 80 divided by 8 will be 10 cm. So the diameter that I will get is, so diameter is 2 times of the radius, which is 2 times 10. So 2 times 10, so therefore our diameter will be 20 cm. So let's look at the question. So they say that which ball A, B or C can fit perfectly on top of the pillar. So therefore, ball B, which is diameter 20 cm, can fit perfectly on top of the pillar. So I'm going to write down a statement to show to the examiner that the answer is ball B. So therefore, ball B with diameter 20 cm can fit perfectly on top of the pillar okay so that's the answer for question number two the diagram below shows a rim of a bicycle wheel with a diameter of 26 cm Harry intends to build a holder for the rim. 
which of the rim holder A, B or C can fit the bicycle rim perfectly? Show the calculation to support your answer. This question is also related to Pythagoras theorem. So first of all, we have to look at rim A, rim B and rim C and we have to try out one by one. So I'm going to try out C first. If cannot, then we'll try out B and A. Okay, so next I'm going to sketch a sector over here so that we can see clearly. So from here to here will be 24 cm if I try out C. Okay, so we try C. Okay, so we divide this into two parts to get a right angle triangle. So from here to here is 24 cm, therefore here will be 12 cm, here will be 12 cm too. And I take this as the radius of the circle, okay, let's say this is the center of the circle. So from here to here is given as 8 cm, so it's 8 cm here. So because from here to here is also the radius, so from here to here will be r minus 8, so r minus 8, okay. So, I'm going to draw out the triangle over here so that we can see clearer. Okay, so here will be R, it's a right angle triangle, so here will be 12 and here is R minus 8 and all in CM. So, next we can put it into Pythagoras theorem which is C square equals to A square plus B square. Okay, so this C, okay, is going to be the hypotenuse which is the longer side of the triangle. So, here will be C, okay, so here will be A and here will be B. Next, we're going to substitute all this into the Pythagoras theorem. So it will be r square, okay, so equals to, so a is 12, so 12 square plus r minus 8 whole thing square, okay. So we're going to solve this. So 12 square is 144 plus r square minus 16r and plus 8 square is 64, okay. Next, so r square, I'm going to bring this over, this r square bring over become minus r square equals so 144 plus 64 is 208 and then this negative 16 R I'm going to bring it down okay so R square minus R square is 0 so it's negative 16 R I'm going to move it to the left hand side become positive 16 R then equals 208 so to find R okay I'm going to shift this over so 208 divided by 16 is 13 cm so to find the diameter, so diameter is 2 times of R, which is 2 times 13, which is 26 cm. So now, let's look at the question. Let's check on the bicycle wheel. So the bicycle wheel, the diameter is 26 cm, and we got the answer 26 cm. So therefore, rim holder C is the answer, okay? So finally, we have to write down a statement, okay, to show to the examiner that the answer is rim holder C. So rim holder C can fit the bicycle rim perfectly. So that's the final answer. For question number three, the town council plans to build an equilateral triangle platform in the middle of a roundabout. The diameter of circle PQR is 24 meters and the perpendicular distance from P to the line QR is 18 meters, as shown in the diagram below. Find the perimeter of the platform. So to solve this question, we have to use the Pythagoras theorem. So let's look at the question. So here I've done a sketching, okay? So the diameter of circle PQR is 24 meters. So therefore, the radius is 12 meters. So let's say this is the center of the circle, okay, which is I label as O. So from here to here will be the radius. So if it's 24 meters diameter, therefore the radius will be 12 meters. So I label here as 12, okay? And then from, let's say here, perpendicular distance from P to the line QR is 18. So we know that here is 12, okay? So here is 12 because it's a radius. So from here to here is 18. So 18 minus 12, so here will be six meters, okay? so. Here to here is unknown, so I label it as x and here as x too. So now we have a right angle triangle here, okay, which is 12 as the hypotenuse and then x and 6. So now we can substitute into the Pythagoras theorem formula, which is c squared equals to a squared plus b squared. 
So C will be the hypotenuse, which is 12 square equals, let's say A is X. Okay, so X square plus, so B is 6. So 6 square. So 12 square is 144. So 144 equals X square plus 6 square is 36. So next, I'm going to shift this over to the left hand side, become 144 minus 36 equals to X square. Okay, so 144 minus 36 is 108. So X square is equals to 108. Okay, so to find X, we have to square root 108. Okay, so we'll get X equals to 10.39. Okay, so we need to find what is QR. So QR is 2 times X. Okay, so QR is 2 times X, which is 2 times 10.39. Okay, which is... 20.78 meters. So in order to find the perimeter of the platform, we have to find the perimeter which is PQ plus QR, QR plus RP. Okay, so to find the perimeter, okay, which is equals to PQ plus QR plus RP. Okay, so since it's an equilateral triangle, we just need to 3 times with the QR, which is 20.78. And the answer is 62.34 meters. So that's the final answer. Well, that's all for now. Do you wish to see more videos like this? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!